Dobrodošli na naš Zoom Hangout oziroma naše druženje. Nehajte se skrivati. Jaz sem Marja, vaša gostiteljica. Z mano je tudi Ana, vaša druga gostiteljica in v bedu jo bo vah krati prevajali. Imamo pa posebno gostjo. Ime je Crystal Crawford. Hi. Hi. Dobrodošla. Welcome. Thank you. So, hi. Okay. So hi everyone. <laughs> uh, hi, welcome to this uh, hangout. Uh, get out of hiding or stop hiding. <laughs> um, here is our special guest, Crystal Crawford. Uh, welcome. <laughs> I wonder who are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> That is a good question. Who am I? Well, I'm an Access Consciousness Certified Facilitator and I live in Vancouver, Canada although I'm originally from the United States, which explains my completely irreverent nature and terrible sense of humor. Um, and yeah, let's start with that. <laughs> Okay, my name is Crystal Crawford, I come from Canada. Canadian, we have a very sense of humor, so let's start Cool, and I wanted to just uh, have this hangout today to talk about, I don't know, anywhere where you're hiding, anywhere where you'd like to be more in your life, anywhere where you'd like to show up more, be more, have more, uh, anything that might be for you. And so I thought it would be fun to um, have a conversation in Slovenian because I use English all the time. danas <laughs> govorili <laughs> Praktično lahko vsem, kjerkoli se skrivate, kjerkoli bi radi prišli, nekako ven se prikazali, pa se mogoče ne upate. Um, torej, gremo se pogovarjati, karkoli želite. Postavljate vprašanja in zapravajmo v neke teme. So, sorry. No, you go. Ste <laughs> povabljeni, da vprašate vprašanja, karkoli vas zanima, na kak, kjerkoli ste se zataknili, kjerkoli bi radi prišli v bistvu iz skrivanja sebe in kreirali več zase in za svoje življenje. What she said. <laughs> <laughs> to, kaj je rekla. Um, uh, yeah, Crystal, um, what, like, could you talk about a little bit about, like, what hiding means or what do, what do you mean like coming out of hiding? Yeah, I, I think it means something different for everybody. I know for me, um, when I was first, I mean, growing up, there was this whole period of time in school where, you know, I got made fun of because I was so different. And um, so I spent most of my growing up life trying to be as small as I possibly could so that I didn't stick out so that I, you know, wasn't, so that nobody would be mean to me. And um, I found that heading into my adult life, that that carried over in different ways. You know, I didn't want to be too loud or too popular or too bright or too much, you know. Torej, um, kjerkoli, kjer sem jaz to odraščala v tej okolici, v bistvu sem naredila vse, kar je bilo potrebno, da sem se čim bolj skrivala, da sem bila čim manj obvazna in v bistvu to sem vložila ogromno ene energije. Uh, zakaj se skrivamo? V bistvu tak verjetno iz različnih razlogov in z osazga v bistvu skrivanje pomeni verjetno čisto nekaj drugega. And there was this whole, when I, when I got into access consciousness about two and a half years ago, so not very long, and became a certified facilitator within about eight months. So some people take, that have taken quite a few more classes by the time they choose certified facilitator, but I went fast, um, which was good. And when I started creating as a facilitator, I had to begin facing everywhere where I still wanted to be in hiding. Pre dve leti nazaj, dve leti, dve leti, pa pol. dve leti pa pol nazaj, v bistvu sem se spoznala z Access Consciousnessom in nekako um, šla sem zelo hitro čez um, neke, um, oziroma, pač zelo hitro sem napredovala, začela delati stvari z Accessom in zelo hitro so se zače, začele prikazovati stvari oziroma področja, kjer sem se še vedno skrivala in so nekak prihajale Ven, bile so izredno opazne in 
Attends. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, what I wanted to have a conversation about and really answer any questions about is <clears throat> I noticed that there's these choices that we'd like to make in the creation of our life, you know, whether it's to be, um, to have an online business or to have it to create classes or to change the world. You know, we talk about changing the world a lot. There's these choices we desire to make that require us to be more or be unhidden. And there seems to be, that seems to be a place where we stop ourselves more quickly than other places. Torej, kjer, um, ko sem začela kreirati v bistvu delavnice, razrede, nekak sem se torej soočala s tem svojim skrivanjem, a ne, vedno, ko kreiraš razrede, se je trebalo nekog pokazati, vedno se zahteva več od tebe in moraš izlesti iz te svoje luknice nekako in se pokazati kot um, ti v celoti. In to so bili res taki trenutki, ko sem se mogla nekako s tem soočiti in pogledati te stvari, kaj to sploh je, a ne, kaj to skrivanje, ki se do katerega v bistvu pride v teh ključnih uh, trenutkih, ko si želiš več in več in več in dejansko ne moraš tega početi iz nekega skrivanja več. So that, that might be a good place to start. And, and Mara, you can ask me more questions, but it might be a place to start of like, you know, if you guys could unhide anything in your life, what would it be? You know, where would you like to go? Like, what would you like more of? What would you desire? Ja, in to so ta mesta, ne, ker se mora vsak izmed vas vpraša. Dejansko, kaj, kaj si sploh želim in kaj, kakšno bi bilo nekako moje življenje, če bi se nehal skrivati na tem, ne? Kaj več lahko, kaj, kaj več lahko skriram na splošno v življenju, če nekako se pokažem? <clears throat> in sem to, kar sem. Mm-hmm. So, um, I would like to ask if I can. Now, um, there is... Um, a lot of this, like a lot of people uh, uh, begin with classes, like you said, and there's this problem of um, hiding, right? And like not wanting to be seen or not wanting, not, no, not knowing, not wanting to be judged or is that like, um, so making choices to step out, where do you start with that? Ko se ga želiš pojaviti, kot, uh, ko zač- začneš kreirati uh, razrede, ko bi rad v bistvu, ne vem, objavil neko delavnico, kje, kako tukaj začeta, ne? kako se nehati skrivati, kako iti ven iz tega, z te naše luknice, v kateri smo in se nočemo nekog prikazati, ker se bojimo vseh obsod drugih ljudi, prej kaj bodo rekli, če pač začnem to delati. It's a, it's not a question that has one answer. Uh, the, what, what it does have is another question of where would you like to start? What's asking to be first? Ja, to ni ravno mesto, kjer v bistvu bi lahko odgovor... To ni vprašanje, na katerega lahko vam dam samo en odgovor. V bistvu um, ne moram vam dati odgovora. Kar si morate tukaj postaviti je v bistvu vprašanje. Kaj si želim sploh skrerati? Kaj bi rad? A ne, in iz tukaj iti v to vprašanje in ne iskati odgovorov na to. I think... Torej, kaj bi rad začeli? Torej, kaj, kaj bi sploh rad? I think one of the things that happens as you're adding access consciousness tools and questions into your life, sometimes there's so many tools and so many um, different things you can use that it can get sort of confusing. And the thing I always bring everybody back to is, is that you know. Okay. Uh, Torej, ogromno imate enih orodi v aksesu in Uh, potem ste zmedeni, ne veste, katero orodje sploh uporabiti. Ne? In potem uh, je ena stvar, katero jaz vedno ljudi vprašam, je, kaj je tisto, kar ti veš o tem? So, I always start with questions that are like, okay, so what do I know? That's a good question. What do I know? What is asking to be first? Because the question that you ask with the energy of question, with the energy of curiosity, is going to be the question that gives you the awareness. Torej, so, 
kako jaz začnem, a ne, jaz se vedno postavim najprej v vprašanje in potem vprašanje vedno kreira nekako zavedanje, torej kaj moram prvo narediti, da bi skreiral to, po čemer nekako sprašujem in temu sledim. So what awareness would you like to have? That's a good question. So I would like to be aware, for example, of what's, what I can create in this 10 seconds that would create cash flow. So what question can I ask? Oh, what could I choose or what could I create that would create cash flow right now? That's a great example. Ja, torej prvo vprašanje, ki se, ki se ga vprašam, kaj bi jaz tr, eh, torej rada, kaj bi jaz eh, skreirala, katero vprašanje bo kreiralo to, po čemer sprašujem. Ja, in katero vprašanje bo v bistvu ustvarilo več denarnega pritoka. Ki, oziroma, katero tisto vprašanje, ki lahko ustvarilo več denarnega pritoka. Še dodatno. So, if you're aware that your business is asking you to speak to more people, put your hands on more heads, um, begin getting yourself out there, you've got that energy in your world. There's some sort of dissatisfaction, like, you know, what is, what's asking to come out? What is asking to be born? Torej, če sledite, a ne temu zavedanju, vedno dobite nekako energijsko odgovor. Kaj je potrebno, da, da skreiram ta biznis? A je potrebno, da pokličem več ljudi? A je potrebno, da večim ljudem zaženem bar se? Torej, sledite temu zavedanju. Kaj v bistvu a, vem jaz o tem, da bo kreiralo več v mojemu biznisu? Mojemu In kaj tudi sprašuje potem, da bi bilo prvo? To ja. je tudi to vprašanje. Kaj je najprej potrebno, da naredim? Kaj v tem trenutku, torej je v mojem zavedanju, da lahko naredim, da te stvari premaknem naprej. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. No, um, yeah. No, no go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say that, you know, as the creating from question is very, very different than creating from decision and judgment and computation and conclusion. So when you're beginning that, your tendency is probably going to be to create from decision, judgment, computation, and conclusion. And you're going to want to look... Sorry, do you want to start there? Torej, ko kreirate, a ne, kreiranje za vprašanje je čist nekaj drugega kot kreiranje iz kalkulacij, iz odločitev, iz sodb. In nekak imeli boste to potrebo ali zelo željo kreirati iz kalkulacij, kar je precej drugačno. So, um, one of the tools that you can use as you're beginning anything, coming out of hiding, creating a business, is you can pack and pod all of your decisions, judgments, computations, and conclusions about how you've decided it should be, could be, is supposed to be, the right way of doing it, etc. Torej, prva stvar, ki jo lahko naredite, ko začenjate, um, je, da si razgradite in uničite vse vaše odločitve, sodbe in pa kalkulacije o tem, kako naj bi zgledalo, kaj naj bi zgledalo, kako bi moralo biti, um, to je dober način, kako lahko v bistvu začnete. Pa tudi zaključke. Zaključke, ja. Predvsem zaključke. V Slovenijo je to zelo um, značilna stvar. <laughs> yes. so, so let's do that real quickly. So all of the decisions, judgments, computations and conclusions that you have about what it means to be out of hiding, what it means to be in hiding and everything else you've decided that is wrong about you in relationship to hiding. <laughs> Can we just it and create all that? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, call, nine, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Torej vse odločitve, zaključke, sodbe, um, kaj še? Računice. Ja, ki jih imate o tem, kaj nekako pomeni se skrivati ali pa kaj pomeni se ne skrivati uh, in kjer kol imate te v svojem poslu, kaj to pomeni v poslu, kaj to pomeni v zvezah, želite vse to, kar je razgraditi na nečet. Podem pa. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah. So, does anybody have any questions about any of this in, from your own life? Or... Um, Ana, boš ti kako vprašanje postavila, pa jaz jo prevajam? Um, what is hiding... Uh, 
actually what does hiding provide for us because it, somehow it provides us a lot that's probably why we are choosing it so what the way is that pravi ana je prašala kaj pravo prav nam daje to kaj nam doprinese to skrivanje oziroma kak kak doprinosi to za nas oziroma kako nam to služi ker na nek način tega ne bi izbirali če ne bi um, če ne če ne bi bil nek doprinos Yeah. Well, let me ask you a question, Anna. <laughs> what does it provide you? Uh, yeah, it's somehow the comfort zone, like, yeah, that's pretty much a big part of that providing and hiding. Doprina, Ana je rekla, da doprinaša, da njen to prinosi to, da je ostane v coni vdobja, a ne? Da se je še vedno potem lahko skriva. I think, I, yes, that. And so many, I think for everybody it's different. That's the question to ask yourself though, is what does, how does hiding serve me? That's the question to really begin looking at. If you know that you're hiding and you really would like to change it, the first thing you need you have to look at is how it's serving you. Mm-hmm. And so I would just write that question down and just journal and then pock and pod everything you write down. Torej, um, za vsakega, vsakega posameznika je nekaj druga, nekaj druga, mu služi na drugače načine, ne? Um, zato je prav zaprav vprašanje, ki ga je postavila Crystal, ki je zelo dobro, da se ga večkrat upostavimo, da se, da se osredotočimo na njega, je to, kako vam to skrivanje služi. Prekako mi to skrivanje služi, to vprašanje, z katerega izhajamo. Tudi pokem podam, mislim pač pokem podamo vse, zdi z tem, kar pride in večkrat ponavljamo to. And I find that as I keep creating and keep choosing, that there's, it's, it's like un, unhiding happens in layers, you know, so I'll make one choice that feels really big and out of my comfort zone and then that becomes comfortable. And then I'll make another choice, and then that is, feels big. So it, it happens in layers. And mm-hmm. I think so many times we look at this subject or coming out of hiding as this massive one choice to rule them all. And it isn't. It's simply a choice in this 10 seconds. What's going to create greater in this 10 seconds? How can I be greater than yesterday? Se pravi, to skrivanje, v bistvu, um, to, ko potem podemo, ko čistimo, ko razgrajujemo, v bistvu to, to gre po slojih. A ne? Vsakič potem neko novo iz, izbero izberemo in potem spet nek nov sloj, ki ga lahko razgradimo, očistimo, ki se lahko spremeni. Um, in potem, kot, ni, ni neke ene, edin, ene in edinstvene izbire, ki bo v bistvu zavladala nad vsemi, ki bo vse spremenila, ampak gre po slojih. Uh, različno, um, ve, več, več različnih delov je tukaj, da pridemo do celote. Yeah, and I would like to ask something else, like, beside that, um, it's, I think it's that big distraction of doubt, like, will I fail or will I succeed, whatever I choose, and do we just bottom, bottom pot it or what else is here? Mm-hmm. Torej, Ana sprašuje, um, a je to v bistvu ta moteči, to, ta um, nekaj, kot kar nas moti, um, ta distrakcija, ta dvom, ali mi bo uspelo, ali mi ne bo, uh, ali lahko to samo potem podamo, ali izberemo nekaj drugega, oziroma zberemo drugače. So, yes, and let's talk about doubt a little bit. Um, for those of you that might be newer to access consciousness, doubt is what we call a distractor implant. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... <laughs> A lot of information. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm going to take it over. So, uh, torej, tisti, um, ki ni, ki ste novi v aksesu in mogoče še ne poznate um, tega distraktnega implanta dvoma, to je nekaj, kar imenujemo dejansko v aksesu, tako zgolj za informacijo, da boste vedeli, o čem govorimo. Moteči vsade. Um, and also, um, I would like to uh, maybe, maybe um, the clearing statement, just to mention something about it. Um, Zdaj sem v bistvu vprašala za čistilno izjavo, a je kdo tukaj, ki, ki, ki je čisto nov za access, ki sploh še ni slišal za čistilno izjavo? Cool, so let's, so I will talk about the clearing statement and I'll expl- it's a crazy, that crazy thing I've been saying, I will explain it. And um, 
And then let's, let's talk a little bit more about doubt. And then we'll just, just, I'll describe why we're clearing that. Cool. Pravi poved, uh, Crystal bo povedala najprej o dvomu, potem bomo pa še povedali, uh, zakaj čistimo uh, in bo v bistvu to povezala skupaj s čistilno izjavo, kaj pomeni. Okay, so a distractor implant is something that at some point in our existence as an infinite being, we were implanted with. Uh, when you look at an infinite being who cares and wants to be kind and wants to create a, be a better place, the only things that could really stop that being are everything we deal with. Doubt, blame, shame, regret, guilt, etc. Sorry, you're going to have to translate because I'll keep going. <laughs> um, torej kot neskončno bitje, um, neskončno bitje v bistvu njene skrbnosti, nežnosti um, in pravzaprav uh, vse, kar nas omejuje od tega oziroma kar nas pele strano od tega, da bi bili to, kar smi, smo, so ti vsadki, moteči vsadki, kot so dvom uh, uh, krivda, uh, jeza, srd, um, k, uh, kaj smo še po... Kaj, kaj sem še spostila, Ana? Jeza, žalovanje um, in tako dalje. And so just for those of you that don't know about distractor implants, there's 20 of them. But doubt being one of those that when you're looking at creating, <coughs> creating or creating beyond where you've created before, doubt can be one of those that comes up a lot. Well, what if this doesn't work? What if I choose this and it doesn't create is usually the question we function from. Mm -hmm. So probably... Um, Teh, za tiste, ki ste novi, pa smo v tečih osadkov je tam približno nekaj 20, a ne? in eden izmed njih je tudi ta dvom. Se pravi, ta se pojavi predvsem, ko hočemo ustvariti ali pa nadostvariti ali pa nekaj novega ustvariti, vedno vprašamo, kaj če to ne bo delovalo, kaj če nam ne bo uspelo, kaj če, kaj če mi spodleti. So when you find yourself going there, there's two things you can do. So you want to pock and pod the distractor implant of doubt and everything holding it in place. And you want to ask a different question. Se pravi, tu, ko prijete do tega dvoma, lahko posežete na dva načina to selotite tega. Najprej pokem podate oziroma očistite ta moteči vsadek. Kaj bo pa drugo? In se postavite. Postavite vprašanje. Ok, pardon. Cool. And, and by different question, what I mean is, if you're asking the question, what if this doesn't work, the universe is going to show you how it won't work, because that's what you're asking for. So what oh, would... <laughs> we are cute. <laughs> the universe has no point of view about what you ask for. It's going to be like, oh, you want to know how it doesn't work? I'll show you. Yeah. yeah. Right? Um, ko, postavi, ko postavljate, začnete spraševati se, kaj če to ne bo, ne bo delovalo oziroma, kaj če to ne deluje, kaj če mi spodleti. Je, ko postaviš vprašanje, ti je vesole do, do, dostavi točno tisto, po čemu sprašuje. Se pravi, če hočeš, če sprašuješ, kaj če to ne bo delovalo, kaj če mi bo spodletelo, ti bo vesole prineslo primere oziroma v življenju situacije, kjer ti bo dejansko lahko spodletelo. Se pravi, ti bo serviralo to. So that's masališča v zvezi s tem, po čem sprašujemo. To je tudi ena taka dobra informacija. I have so many languages to learn this year. Veliko jezikov se mora še naučiti, Kristo. But that's why we talk about asking what would it take for it to turn out greater than I could possibly imagine. And the universe is going to go, oh, I can show you that. Spravi, um, Boljše vprašanje bi bilo, kaj bi bilo potrebno, da se bo to odvilo bolje, kot sem si kadarkoli predstavljala ali predstavljala. In danes, ko bo univerzum bo rekel ali vesolje bo reklo, aha, ok, to ti pa lahko pokažem, ja. So, and so let me talk about the clearing statement and why that works, because it's ridiculous. <laughs> Najprej bom govorila o, o čistilni izjavi in kako deluje, zato, ker je zelo smešno. Oziroma. So the clearing statement is right and wrong, Good and bad, pock and pod, all nine, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Does that translate or do you just say right and wrong, good and bad? No, we, just we just say it, exactly. Okay. Cool. So right and wrong is everywhere 
right and wrong and good and bad are the two polarizations, polarized reality. You literally only have choices along the spectrum. You either have bad choices or right choices, which isn't actually choice. So it destroys and uncreates the polarization of those two things. Pravi prvi delček je, um, uh, čestilne zjave je right and wrong, good and bad, se pravi prav na robe, dobro, slabo. Danes, ko gre se za to, da um, v bistvu se uničil tu polarizacija, um, uh, se pravi um, pol, poli polarizacija, se pravi, kjer je nekaj pozitivno, nekaj uh, negativno, uh, danes, ko da ne obstaja več po, uh, polarnosti, uh, da v bistvu, ker ni dobrih, slabih odločitev, so samo odločitve. Which is actually, the rest of the clearing statement does the same thing in different ways. And so if you want really detailed information, I would go to theclearingstatement.com. Is there a Slovenian translation of that? No, not oh. yet. Okay, so then, um, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock. Pot and pock. Uh, has it. It's Dane's version of it, Dane's explanation oh. on YouTube. Okay. Uh, yeah, and it has Slovenian subtitles. It's okay. Very- Okay, so we can post that. Maybe we'll send that out with the email um, yeah. about the clearing statement. But gen- essentially, it's, it's an energetic of anything that's limiting you or holding you back. So you bring up an energy that's like, and then we bulldoze it out of existence with the clearing statement. And what you have left is space. Se pravi, uh, ko postavimo neko vprašanje, namen čestilne izjave je, da se vse, kar se dvigne pri tem vprašanju, vse omejitve, da se v bistvu uh, ta eksplozija, uh, da naredi neko eksplozijo, kjer ščisti vse te omejitve oziroma vso energijo, ki se je dvignila pri omejitvah in dejansko, da iz, to besedno eksplozija izobstoja te ener- teh energij, ki nas omejujejo. Because what happens is we're so psychic, that we pick up and, and have been psychic since we were created <laughs> from the moment we became a being. And so we pick up on every single, every other person in the world's point of view and feelings and thoughts and emotions, not knowing that we're doing it. So our space is dense with every single thing that isn't ours. And that's why when we go to choose something, we feel like we can't or we've got doubt that comes up or we've got all this shit in the way between what we'd like to choose and what we feel like we can't choose. So the clearing statement takes, acknowledges the shit, goes, is it yours? No, fuck and pod, and gets it out of the way. Se pravi že od samega začetka, od rojstva dejansko smo mi ena take tako jasno vidne spužbe oziroma se zavedamo vseh misli, občutko in čustev okrog nas in na nek način to postane, se utrdi, postane gosto v našem prostoru, ker mi kot bitje smo, smo sam prostor in, um, in dejansko en, čistilna izjava očisti uh, oziroma da možnost in da prostor, da se vsa ta gostota, vse te misli, občutke in čustva, da se lepo, uh, da se vse te stvari, kjer mi to kupujemo kot naše, da se uh, izniči in razgradi, da dejansko mi začnemo se zavedati, aha, to nič od tega ni mojega um, in dejansko lahko to spustimo. So when you're wanting to create more with your life and you're realizing that you quote unquote can't because you're afraid, you're doubting, you've never done that before, what are people going to say? What you want to start to ask is if I were truly being me, what would I choose? Se pravi, ko želite, ko začnete uh, izhajati iz prostora, kjer želite, zač- uh, kjer želite začeti kreirati svoje življenje, uh, in svoj prostor, um, dejansko um, se vprašate, tisto pravo vprašanje bi bilo, če bi bila ali bil jaz v resnici to, kar sem, kaj bi izbral ali izbrala? Um, še? Yeah. Okay. Does anybody have any questions? Maš še kdo kakšno vprašanje? What is choice and what we have decided that the choice actually is that is not? <laughs> That's a good question. What is choice? Ana je vprašala, kaj je izbira in kaj smo se odločili, že v naprej uh, odločili, da je izbira, kar v bistvu ni. Ne? In Kristal je rekla, um, ja, to je zelo dobro vprašanje, torej, kaj je izbira? So choice looks different. It, it, sometimes choice is shifting into a different space. Sometimes choice is choosing to walk over to the coffee machine and make a cup. 
sometimes choice is taking action on creating a class. <laughs> so, pravi, um, izbira je lah, lahko različno. Lahko je nekaj, kar, nek, nekaj vrste je delovanje in akcija, lahko pa je samo spremenba energije. Spravi, častih lahko samo izberemo, da bomo neko energijo spremenili, ali pa se, ali pa se odločimo, uh, da bomo nekaj naredili, se pravi, ali da bomo ustvarili delavnico, ali da se bomo ostali in šli do kavomata in si naredili kavo. To vse je izbira. But one of the things that I, on a most, the most recent telecall with Gary, which was facilitating a facilitator to create a facilitation, I don't know how that translates, um, but one of the things he said over and over and over is that the reason we do these clearings is to invite you or me into choosing a different way to be, something different than we can be that would allow us to have what it is that we'd like us to have. So what can you be that would create what you'd like to have with total ease? Torej, um, uh, Gary Douglas, ustanovitel Access Consciousness, je na enem izmed svojih teleklicov, kako facilitirati facilitatorje, da napiše dobro facilitacijo, oziroma da facilitira dobro facilitacijo, um, je povedal, uh, da v bistvu um, uh, dobro vprašanje tukaj je, da se raje vprašamo, kaj sem lahko ali kaj lahko naredim, da mi bo dala nove možnosti, nov prostor, oziroma da bom lahko ustvaril ali ustvarila svoje življenje, uh, da bom lahko izbiral drugače ali izbrala drugače. Še, so, for, for example, when I, I was asking a question in Venice at Facilitators last year about what it would take for me to have the business that I knew was possible for me. And Gary said, you'd have to be willing to be the authority. And Dane said, you'd have to be willing to have more money than anybody else, more money and more success than anybody else, which is also a being. And that sat with me for a year. <laughs> Torej, uh, Lani v, uh, na facilitatorskem tečaju um, je vprašala, Kristol, kaj bi bilo potrebno, da, uh, da, da postanem več, oziroma kaj bi bilo potrebno v mojem življenju, kaj, kje se umejujem, kje se ostavljam. In potem uh, je Gary rekel, uh, da bi morala biti, pripravljena biti avtoriteta, um, Dan je pa rekel, da bi morala uh, biti pripravljena imeti več denarja kot uh, Bog um, in dejansko, uh, in to dejansko je bilo ne nekaj, kar, po, kar počneš, ampak nekaj, kar si, se pravi, to, to bivanje uh, in s tem se je eno leto ukvarjala potem. So what I realized, when he, one more thing and then I'll, so what I realized when he said you have to be willing to be the authority, all of this stuff came up in my world about I couldn't do that. I don't know what I'm talking about. There's people that have been doing this longer than me. All my stuff came up in looking at, was I willing to be the authority? I'm like, you know, so, which so gave me, that gave me a chance to look at, am I willing to choose that and pock and pod myself as I go? And it took me a little while to get there. Pravi, ko je Gary vprašal, ali si pripravljena biti avtoriteta, se je pri nej dignilo veliko stvari, veliko omejitev, um, predvsem vprašan, ali sem pripravljena to, ali sploh sem sposobna to, ali mogoče, kaj pa jaz vem, drugi veliko več vejo kot jaz, ali jaz vem dovolj, da bom lahko uh, postala ta avtoriteta. In dejansko um, je morala veliko, um, veliko se je moglo osesti, oziroma veliko stvari je mogla uh, pre, premleti, da je uh, dejansko to, v bistvu v njenem svetu je to sedelo približno eno leto, da se je... So one question you can ask yourself, and you can actually run this as a clearing, is what am I not willing to be that if I were willing to be it would change my reality with total ease? Pravi, eno je zato vprašanj, ki bi jih dansko, ki se je dobro vprašati, je kaj nisem pripravljen biti ali pripravljena biti, ker če bi bila pripravljena to biti ali bi pripravljen to biti, bi spremenilo moja realnost popolno lahko to. And everything that is times a godzillion, right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, all nine shirts, boys and beyonds. Cool. And one more. Yeah. Could you speak more about being that, being space of being and being space of no hiding? Pravi, Ana sprašuje, če bi lahko povedala malo več o tem, če bi lahko malo več povedala o tem, kaj to je biti, bivanje, bitje, 
biti v tem prostoru ne skrivanja, a ne, biti v prostoru, kjer se pojaviš, kjer postaneš to, kar si. Well, when you're willing to be the authority on what you know, is hiding an issue anymore? Se pravi, ko si pripravljen biti, postati ta avtoriteta, ki veš, kot veš, da si, a je dejansko takrat se sploh je še problem to skrivanje. So, what are you hiding from being? Od česa se skrivaš, oziroma od katerega bitja bivanja se skrivaš, od česa se skrivaš, da bi bila pravzaprav. Are you hiding from being as brilliant as you are? Se skrivaš pred tem, da bi bila tako briljantna kot si? Are you hiding from being as knowing as you are? Ali se skrivaš od tega, da bi bila tako vsevedna kot si? Are you hiding from being the phenomenons that you actually are? Ali se skrivaš od pred tem, da si fenomenca oziroma fenomen, fenomenalnost, ki si? And if you weren't hiding from that and you were willing to be it, what would change in your life? In če se ne bi pred tem skrivala in bi bila to pripravljena biti in postati, kaj bi se spremenilo v tvojem življenju? And everything that brings up. Vse, kar se je s tem dvignilo, se lahko razgradi v noniči, right or wrong, in bad, potem pa kaj nešel za to zmenjati. We had to do it double. So, you're welcome. You're welcome. I think I have never found that we are hiding from being worse. We are always hiding from being as great as we are. Kristel je ugotovila v celem svojem delovanju, da dejansko se ne skrivamo pred tem, da bi bili slabši, ampak predvsem se skrivamo pred tem, da bi bili boljši, oziroma tista veličasnost, ki smo pred tem se skrivamo. So, what have you made so vital, valuable and real? about hiding you that keeps you from being as great as you truly are. Torej, kaj ste naredili tako vitalno, vredno in realno v zvezi s tem, da se skrivate, kar vas odvrača od tega, da ste veličasnost, ki v resnici ste? And everything that is, time is a godzillion, right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, call, nine, shorts, boys and beyond. Cool. So... Can we talk a little bit more about this hiding from your greatness and your capacities, actually, or hiding your capacities? Yeah. What would be? Well, lahko govorimo več o te naši veličasnosti in skrivanja pred tem, da smo to. Or perhaps, sorry, perhaps, I don't know, how did you handle, quote, unquote, Uh, in that year, you know? Right. How did you go with this? Because uh, I, I don't know, I remember you in uh, Stockholm, I think, uh, in SOP, when you went to the microphone and you were asking questions, I was like, man, she knows She's stuff, you know? Like, I lie, I lie. And I'm like, ah, when will I be like this? And I'm one of the people that uh, did the, I'm CF in five months. Uh, so that thing, I don't know enough. I never know enough. There's, I need to read this book and that book and so on. And whenever I see somebody that is like, I don't know, like you, for example, is like, man, what would it take to have more of that? And still I kind of make myself smaller and not ready yet. Sorry, Krista. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I remember. So, uh, He's on the roll. Torej, Kristel, kako si se ti sočala v tistem letu s tem svojim skrivanjem? Mateja je rekla, spominjam se te letos novembra, oktobra, smo bili na SOP v Štokolmu in ko si prišla do mikrofona, si bila taka bomba, tako čudovita, vedla si vse in rekla sem sama sebi, wow, ta ženska pa res oblada stvari. In jaz sem postala facilitatorka v petih mestih, torej certificirana facilitatorka in še vedno imam ta dvom in zločam se s tem, da ne vem dovolj, nisem dovolj dobra. Kaj naj s tem naredim? Kako naj s tem hendlam? When I look at that, for me, it was just not acceptable that I slow myself down to the speed that everybody else thought I should go. Torej, v tem trenutku nekako, jaz sem si rekla, jaz se ne bom 
upočasnila in se spravila na to hitrost, kar drugi mislijo, da bi mogla iti torej postopoma in počasi. Zame to ni bilo spremljivo. And I acknowledged and I, I acknowledged that my facilitation would not be as good as it will be as it is now and it will be. You know, it's not it wasn't as informed as it now is, right? I like I took Gary's facilitating a facilitator telecall and I learned like I wish I'd had that information two years ago, but I couldn't have heard it, you know. So okay, I'm not gonna be as good when I begin. And people's lives still got changed. You know, I just wasn't willing to slow myself down. Pred dvema letoma nisem bila tako dobra, kot kar sem sedaj. Tudi jaz sem si takrat želela, da bi imela vse te informacije na voljo, vendar ne bi nikoli postala tako dobra facilitatorka, če ne bi šla sama čez vse te stvari. Torej, opazila sem, da tudi dve leti nazaj, ko nisem še obladala stvari, so se ljudje v bistvu spreminjali s facilitacijami, ki sem jim v bistvu jih dala. Tako da nekako... Edina stvar, ki sem si jo rekla, ne bom se upočasnila na to hitrost in šla postopoma do stvari, ampak sem se nekako vrgla v njih. Sorry, just one information. To, ko je rekel, ki je v bistvu zdaj poslušala to facilitacijo od Gerija, je rekla, da takrat še verjetno ni bila pripravljena spret vse to. To, kar je zdaj povedal, ki je mislil, da jo, ok, je bilo to pred dvema letoma, ampak takrat ona še ne je bila pripravljena tega slišati. Tak da v bistvu vse gre svoj čas, rabi. So I think that was piece number one. And piece number two is I, I realized that in choosing that, it was really uncomfortable for me. And my, there was a willingness in my world to just be vulnerable with how uncomfortable it was. So I would show up on calls and just tell people, I wonder how this is going to go. Like, you know, I'm really <laughs> uncomfortable. So what question? I would just show up and be really present with what it was for me as well. And that is something I think we avoid and something that's such an invitation when we choose it. Because I don't know that anybody else really expects us to have our shit together either. And yet when we appear to try to have our shit together, that's what makes us like not touchable. So what if you didn't have to have your shit together to be a gift? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, torej, uh, to je bil en del, čakaj, kar sem prej omenila. Ta drugi del je bil pa ta, da, ko sem začela, sem pripravljena bila biti z ljudmi ta ranljivost, kar sem takrat bila, oziroma kar v resnici sem. Torej, um, Bila sem tisto, kar sem, povedala sem ljudem, ko sem imela prve hangoute, lejte, tako je, to se zdaj dogaja in šla sem s tem in nikoli nisem pričakvala oziroma zahtevala od sebe, da sem nekako, kako bi to pravedli, tako da imaš vse pod kontrolo, ampak bila sem to, kar sem in To je krejla v bistvu, to je bilo eno tako ogromno povabilo za ljudi, a ne, ko smo to v bistvu... Da se ne delaš. Da se ne delaš, tako. So I would just use my uncomfortable moments as points of creation. I was like, whew, I'm choosing this and it's uncomfortable and I'm inviting you to join me. And what that does is that opens up a space where other people can choose that too. Torej, uporabljala sem torej te točke kreiranja na začetku in izbirala sem si to in opazovala, kaj to kreira v življenjih drugih ljudi. Torej, tudi to neodobje je izbrala kot točko kreacije, to ti je kreirala naprej. So, da da... So, da... So, <laughs> I'm like, where do we go now? <laughs> A lot of information. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so what have you made so vital, valuable, and real about having your shit together that keeps you from choosing beyond it? Yeah. Kaj so naredili tako življensko pomembnega, resničnega in vrednega v zvezi s svojo popolnostjo, da ti preprečuje biti v popolnosti, da vam preprečuje biti v popolnosti vi? In vse to, kar je želite razgraditi na ničit. And everything that is, time is a godzillion, right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, all night, shorts, boys and beyonds. I mean, you have to judge yourself to judge whether or not you have your shit together. You have to function from total judgment. 
So you got to look at like, who am I comparing myself to? Mm -hmm. Who am I comparing myself to? Am I comparing myself to Cass, to Blossom, to Dane, to Gary? Like, you know, there's always going to be people that are ahead of you and always going to be people that are behind you. And all of that's relative to how you see it. So... Morate, ogromno moramo imeti uh, sod do, sami, do samega sebe, da se moramo nekak uh, soditi, ali smo popolni, ali nismo. Torej, s kom se primerjate? A se, to primerjate, a se primerjate z Denom, a se z Gerijom? Ali ne, vedno so ljudje, ki so nekako pred nami in so ljudje tudi, ki so za nami. Torej... And in regards to being an access facilitator, even in your own country, like there's going to be facilitators that think you shouldn't do what it is that you'd like to do. I mean, when I started creating online the way I do, there was all kinds of energies that came up because who the fuck am I? I'm this upstart from the, the North America that thinks she's something. There was energies like that, you know, and when I went to big classes after I started creating, there was judgment and there, it was all present. But it wasn't going to stop me from having what I wanted to have. So, kjer koli začnete facilitirati, imate svoje delavnice, so vedno ljudje, ki tudi delajo te stvari in torej, zna, zazna, tudi jaz sem zaznavala različne energije, ko sem se pojavila na, ne vem, na denovem seminarju, uh, sem zaznavala te druge facilitatorje in te čudne energije, vendar um, jih nisem kupila kot resnične. So, so who are you making more valuable than you? And everything that is times a godzillion where you destroy and create it all. Right, we're going to go to Paul and Shorts Boys and Beyonds. There is nobody more valuable than you. There's nobody more valuable than you, nobody more valuable than what you know. And what you know is vital to what it is we can create. Mm-hmm. And Crystal, you also have a, a telecall on that uh, topic, uh, like uh, the unstoppable, being yeah. unstoppable. Yeah. 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 Well, I, I, that call created itself. <laughs> just one of these. I don't even know how it got started, but it was just this awareness that, like, what if nothing could stop you? Why would... Sorry, that call se je skreiral sam, sam od sebe, nekako. Um, prišlo je to moje zavedanje, kaj če ni nikogar, ki te lahko ustavi? I literally spent my life being stopped by the potential judgment, especially of my mom. You know, like for me, that was a bit, she was a big factor in my life. And up to this year in the ESB, I had to ask another question about my mom. <laughs> And so some of my creation has been a little bit of this where I'm like, I'm not going to look over there. They're judging me. I'm not going to look. I'm just going to keep creating. Some of it's been that. And as I've gone along, I've been more and more willing to take this down because this actually isn't relevant. And I can just receive that energy and it doesn't have to mean anything to me. Torej, na začetku, ko sem kreirala, sem si nekako uh, pokrivala oči pred določenimi kreaciji, pred kre, kreacijami in uh, sodbami. Uh, in sedaj um, nekako jih dajem na stran in se mi ne zdijo več sploh pomembne. Kaj če ne pomenijo čisto nič? So what if judgment is just an energy? What if competition is just an energy and a choice that other people are making? Like, what would you like to create on the planet? And one of my favorite things about the SOP, that particular class, is that's 
one of the classes that shows us that what we're being is what changes things. You don't require words. You don't require knowledge. You don't require any of that to change somebody's world. Ja, pro čo menim tam SLP v Štokholmu, kaj mi je bilo resnično všeč v tem, na tem seminarju, dobil si res občutek, kaj je to, oziroma za znavo, vedenje, kaj je to pomeni biti, brez besed, brez česarkoli drugega, v bistvu samo biti. So what if you could create and then show up and then ask for the words to show up? <laughs> Kaj če bi kreiral, kaj če bi kreirali, postavljali vprašanja in potem vprašali, da se nekako besede pojavijo v vaše življenje. And if they don't show up, you get to sit there and look cute. <laughs> in če se ne pojavijo, se vsete in se pogledajte. Thank God we're all cute! <laughs> Hvala Bogu, da smo tako simpatični. <laughs> So I'm going to run that again. What have you made so vital, valuable, and real about having your shit together that keeps you from choosing beyond it? Kaj se naredili tako življensko pomembnega in resničnega in vrednega v zvezi z vašim sranjem, da vam preprečuje, da bi izberali on kraj tega. Želite vse to, kar je razgraditi in uničiti. And everything that is times a godzillion, right? Run to that PyPock online shirts, please begin. Well, for you, I think it might be harder than that. I'm going to need you to run around the block first and then uh, jump on your head, actually, and, and then turn around 2,500 times, say five Hail Marys, and then maybe you could choose it. Torej, Ana je vprašala, kaj se zgodi, ko se nehaj skrivati in Kristo rekla fenomenans. Fenomenca, torej fenomenalnost in pa je rekla, je to samo izbira, je to tako enostavno, pa je rekla, Kristel, ne, ne, zate bo malo težje, ti boš mogla pet zdravih mari zmoliti, pa petkrat okrog bloka laufa, pa še ene par stvari, tako da bo ravno prav. That's even funny in another language. Smešno, to je v drugi meziku. So we should stop hiding. Yeah. Put us together. <laughs> so, Crystal, when are you going to show up here in Slovenia? <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah. Well, I'm looking at September. So what, you know, we're like, I've got several different classes that I can do. We can do Unstoppable Live. We can do a business class. We can do a coming out of hiding. Like, what would you guys like to have? Mm -hmm. what's, what's your country? What are you guys asking for? And what can we create? Like, I'm really interested in gifting you what it is that would change your world and make what you want to create possible. So in September, I will be there. So what can we create? Yeah. Torej, uh, Crystal, uh, vprašala sem jo, um, kdaj se bo ona pojavila v Sloveniji in je rekla, da, uh, da je to dobro vprašanje in da bi se rada, uh, da septembra, in da ima veliko idej, kakšne delavnice bi lahko imeli, bi lahko imeli neustavljivi, delavnico neustavljivi oziroma to neustavljivi na odru, to, da se nehate skrivati, delavnico v zvezi z današnjim naslovom. Veliko, veliko, veliko možnosti je. Zanimajo, kaj mi želimo, kaj bi mi radi ustvarili skupaj oziroma kaj želi biti ustvarjeno v Sloveniji. So, if you have any requests, send them to Marja or Ana. Or anyone, and let me know. And we will, in the next few weeks, we're going to be creating the schedule and the classes. And so, how much fun can we have? Yeah. So, v naslednjih nekaj tednih, oziroma, če imate kakršne koli ideje, predloge, lahko pošljete meni ali Ani, oziroma komor koli, pač in dejansko... Dejansko se bo urnik, se bo v naslednjih tednih se bo kreiral in koliko se lahko zabavamo pri tem. Cool. 
So thank you for this. Thank you for the conversation and for being you guys. I'm so grateful. Thank, thank you. Great for you. <laughs> You're welcome. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Cool. <laughs> yeah, in September. Yeah. Sounds awesome. Krista se zahvaljuje vsem nam, da smo bili tukaj, da smo so ustvarili ta, to druženje in te ideje um, in se zahvaljuje nasploh za nas, za naše, da smo darilo, ko smo. In super, vidimo se kmalo v septembra. Bye for now! Bye! Thank Bye. you! Bye.